assalamu alaikum my dear children i hope you people are done with the first lesson and today we are going to start the second lesson that is unique earth first of all let me tell you what is the meaning of unique unique is something which is different from all which is not the same so why we are calling our earth planet as unique why because the life exists only in earth remaining all planets there is no life that's why we are calling it as unique earth okay so we already know that the earth is a part of the solar system and it moves around the sun you know uh, you have read in the uh, first lesson that all the planets are moving around the sun okay and uh, now moving ahead ever wondered whether the earth is flat round or some other shape did you wonder that uh, uh, what is the shape of the earth children and what makes the earth a special planet what is actually making the earth a special planet and would you like to know what uh, causes day and night and the different seasons let us find out all these things so let's get started what fun it was in the countryside for the twins so many trees birds and lots of fresh air i bet the earth is the most wonderful planet of all joy said for once i agree with you said milly so many wonderful things to see so you know milly and joy they are siblings they are twins uh, so they went on a tour uh, on a countryside so on their uh, in their journey they have seen many uh, trees and different kinds of birds and lots of fresh air they have uh, seen uh, they have felt i bet the earth is the most wonderful planet of all joy said so joy said that i feel that earth is the most wonderful planet of all of course it is wonderful planet why because the life exists in it okay uh, and uh, for once i agree with you said mili so mili said yes i agree with you i ag admit that earth is a wonderful planet and she said that mili said that there are many more wonderful things to see uh, in the earth so back from their trip mili and joy told everyone in the class about their holidays well how about drawing a picture of the earth asked miss far miss farha their class teacher this is what mili and joy drew so miss farha is a class teacher of joy and mili she asked well uh, you people went on a holiday that's okay but what about uh, the shape of the earth can you draw the uh, can you draw a picture of the earth she asked to mili and joy so they drew like this so this is a drawing done by the joy he has drawn this one and uh, mili has drawn this one so um, joy is thinking that uh, earth is flat but mili is thinking that earth is round in shape so let's look in detail do you think more uh, do, do you think both the drawings of the earth are co correct children if you have to draw a picture of the earth would it be round or flat talk about it so let's learn about this in the lesson in detail I, here is uh, one activity activity is given that is don't you think the earth is a beautiful place to live in with its wonderful scenery all around draw a picture of a beautiful scenery of the earth in your scrapbook so you have to draw the picture of the earth in your scrapbook it's a activity for you okay children so let's flip the page next is well this is how the earth actually looks said miss farha showing them a picture this is a photograph of the earth taken from the space by astronauts a s t r o n a u t s astronauts astronauts what are astronauts the person who travels to space to learn about more about them is called as astronauts okay children so uh, miss farha actually she showed the exact image of the earth okay and she said that this is how the actually the earth looks like so this is the shape of the earth what is the shape children it's a round round shape now a bright blue ball why we are calling ta uh, calling earth as a bright blue ball let's learn about that what shape does the earth look to you children of course the earth is round in shape when we stand in the open field the earth does seem flat yes children when you stand in a field okay uh, and you when you look around how the earth look like you uh, look like it looks very flat flat in the sense like this okay however as can be seen from this photograph the earth is like a bright blue ball the blue color is water which is the most of our planet is made up of so but actually the uh, shape of the earth is round and <clears throat> uh, the blue color in the in this picture is nothing but the water and most of our planet earth is made up of water only children okay less part is of um, land and or uh, remaining all is water in the earth so let's learn the story of the earth here what is the story long time long time ago 
like joy people believe that the earth was flat so long time ago like joy joy in this uh, uh, he was thinking that the uh, earth is flat now so long time ago the people also thought that the earth was flat like this okay they feared that if a person travel for enough he or she would fall off the edge of the earth so children a long time ago the uh, people thought that earth is flat in shape and they thought that if someone travels a long distance and finally reach the edge of the earth suddenly he may he or she may fall down isn't it uh, because it's flat na children so for a flat thing there will be an end of, uh, okay so if anyone uh, goes to the end and if uh, steps out further he may or he may fall off isn't it so they thought in this way in um in 1519 year an explorer named Fanny, uh, ferdinand magellan and his companions set sail from spain in europe on a voyage so explorer e x p l o r e r explorer e x p l o r e r explorer who is explorer explorers are a, a person who travels to unknown places to know more about them are the explorer they are the person who travel to the unknown place and they uh, find out the new new things okay they will explore the new things are called as explorer and the next thing is voyage voyage is meaning is a long journey by sea sea is nothing but it's a water body if you uh, take a sail on a sea then we call that journey as a voyage okay so in 1519 an explorer what is the explorer name ferdinand magellan Uh, he and his companions set a sail from spain to europe they uh, went on a uh, voyage from uh, spain to europe and what they did they kept on sp- uh, sailing for years one of the ships came back to spain after many years so they uh, they kept on sailing for years 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 okay so one of the uh, ca- ship came back to spain it seems after many years the ship had actually circled the earth without falling off the edge so the ship actually one uh, ship came back from the spain and uh, it uh, it circled the earth without falling off so they thought that finally this made scientists believe that the earth was round and not flat much later when astronauts traveled to space and looked at the earth they they saw a beautiful blue ball so when the ship actually came back without falling off the edge when the ship came back without falling off the edge they thought that uh, earth is actually round in shape then later on what happened scientists you know the scientists s c i e n t i s t s scientist s c i e n t i s t s scientist the scientists are the people who uh, um, uh, who find out the new new things okay so later on the scientists what they did they uh, traveled to the space and uh, they as uh, sorry uh, later on the scientists believed that uh, uh, earth was round and w- how they came to know that why because the astronauts the people who traveled to space they went in the space and they found that earth is a blue ball and it's a round in shape they finally got the view of that okay so like an orange orange you know orange is an apple uh, sorry orange is an fruit okay carefully observe the image of the earth shown here you will notice that its shape is not a perfect circle carefully look at the picture here its uh, shape is not completely circle uh, circle shape okay children its shape is more like an orange it is a bit flatter at the top and bottom orange you can you know na children orange santra it's a fruit so how the orange will be it, uh, top will be flat and bottom will be flat of the, likewise um, our earth is also somewhat flat at the top and somewhat flat at the bottom so that's why the shape is looking like an orange to us the top flat point is known as the north pole and the bottom flat point is the south pole so this is the north pole this is the south pole okay it is the top part it is the bottom part top part is the north pole and bottom part is the south pole also notice that the middle of the earth sticks out a little and Uh, an imaginary line called the equator divides the earth into equal parts why we are calling calling it as imaginary line children why because actually there is no uh, no real point uh, li- uh, real line here which is dividing earth into two pieces it's an imagination that if we take the uh, imaginary line like this this is called as the equator imaginary line uh, so the earth will be equally divided into two parts okay so we are just imagining it it's not real okay so that uh, imaginary line is called as a equator e q u a t o r equator e q u a t o r equator 
so an imaginary line called the equator divides the earth into two equal parts so imaginary line is dividing the earth into two equal parts so uh, well that's it children i'm going to end the discussion here uh, so your uh, work is to go on listening to the video go on watching the video until and unless you get the concept very clearly okay and you can also type on the google and search more about the more facts about the earth okay so till then take care stay connected allah hafiz